this is a whole effect of the experiment. What is the whole effect? Uh, this is the basic diagram. If we apply a current to a semiconductor and apply a magnetic field perpendicular to this semiconductor, then there should be a field electron arc uh, go one side due to the Lorentz force. So, and, and in the other side, they are created a hole. So, this hole and electron gives a potential. So, this potential or voltage is called wall voltage. So, this is our setup and this is our hole probe means a simple semiconductor. If we, uh, there is a core point, two point we allow current means uh, there are two, four terminal, two terminal used to give the current, two terminal is used to measure the voltage and this is our the electromagnet, giant electromagnet. So in our basic equation is that all voltage proportional to current perpendicular magnetic field by T means width of this semiconductor. So this width of the semiconductor is always provided in our manual. So it cannot be measured. But I and B. So how to measure B? Uh, this is our electromagnet and this magnet uses this constant current power supply. This is the constant current source. So just uh, give few current. Okay. So initially change this control. We are seeing that there will be ampere 3.66 ampere. So just change. So changing current gives the changing the magnetic field. So how much magnetic field means what is B? So to measure B, we have a magnetic field, a cos meter. So just use this probe and insert in between this two terminal and we see that there will be 900 cross. So just use this to measure uh, measure magnetic field means B R B equals to for this experiment 900 gauss. So change this and insert this hall probe. So inserting this probe, we are seeing that this is a device to give a current through the hall probe and to measure the voltage across the hall probe. So this device has a wall display but there is a two point minimum milliampere means this we can see applied current and we can also see applied voltage using this knob this knob is indicated along voltage means this gives the result voltage means 0.3 volt and if we change the along this we get 0 0.01 so our interesting thing is that why the voltage and current is zero so this is initial condition. If we change the current, means current adjust, then we get, suppose this is 2.1.87 uh, milliampere current. So record current I as a 1 point and change the corresponding switch, we get uh, 0 millivolt current. Again, uh, we can uh, take the value as a R is equal to V is by I by T B. So T H was provided with our with manual. B is 900 cos as we previously known. And just take T by I means whole voltage corresponding I means current. So take several current, several current and take the linear voltage. Again, we can change the current also 13.25. Again, we get the uh, voltage. So, oh, sorry, uh, in our experiment, this is okay. So, we have to confirm with your manual that in our setup, uh, your green wire are used to measure voltage and red wire are measured to current or to give current. So, check with your manual. So, in our experiment, we see that. For several current, 2 ampere, we get a voltage 37 point or something. Again, we have to change the second current. So take as you like 1 milliampere, 2 milliampere, 3 milliampere and corresponding voltage we have to get. So just plot 
uh, uh, I means current along the x-axis and corresponding voltage or voltage along the y-axis. So we get a graph. Obviously, is this graph should be a straight line. So we get a slope from this graph. So slope is gives v h by v i means this is the slope. So R is to be slope of the v i graph into t on a given and v is the line in our experiment. So you can do uh, you see uh, several uh, current or several uh, magnetic field as you like. So this is the R experiment.